they're showing on the Jumbotron like Tim Hardaway Sr. We're like, oh my God, that guy invented the crossover. What about him? See, the problem for Dylan and Eric was that they always loved basketball, but they couldn't dribble in the house because it was too loud. And when they dribbled outdoors, the neighbors would complain. So what's a kid supposed to do? You want to practice dribbling, but it's just too loud. So after years of testing different materials, Dylan and Eric created Dream Dribble, a sound absorbing device allowing kids to silently dribble at home. Before launching the product, they approached five-time NBA All-Star Tim Hardaway Sr., who immediately loved the idea because when he was a kid, he had the same problem dribbling in his house and his family would get annoyed. Hardaway is now a partner in Dream Dribble and the three of them are changing kids' lives one dribble at a time. I mean, for, for me, when, it, when like growing up with two sisters, uh, they, they were not, they would not, you know, let me have it. If, if I wanted to play in the house, I, I let a mini hoop in my room. My sisters always yelled at me. My dad would say, this isn't Madison Square Garden, go outside. So like, it was maybe 10 o'clock at night. I may have had a friend over, I wasn't sure, but um, I, we went outside and, my, and within like 10 minutes, my neighbors across the street called the police for a noise complaint. So you can't go outside because yeah. your neighbors are calling the cops. You can't play inside because your sisters are yelling at you. My parents, yeah. And, you, and your parents yeah. like, how are you supposed to and, practice? And living in New York, it's cold all the time. Right. So you really had a big obstacle. So you had to overcome that. So. Did you think that it was even realistic to be able to dribble in your house? Because it, it, something like this never existed before. Right. We weren't sure if we were going to make a business out of it. It was more going to be for personal use. And then we were asking around, did a bunch of research, and there was nothing out there. Nothing existed. And people said that's a great idea like you should make something out of it yeah well you know before you say it was a great idea <laughs> like we we made like prototypes no one took us seriously i guess so much and how did you make like you said okay i'm gonna go make a product that's gonna allow us to dribble a basketball indoors now what we're just putting things together just researching you know sound absorbing stuff and right and how could you know, you get it to dribble like you're dribbling on a regular floor. D did you find material that would allow for this? Did you? Yeah, I mean, we had to, you know, combine a bunch of things to make it realistic. We didn't know exactly what to use. We were just doing a lot of testing. We wanted to do it, you know, not only for us, because we were already past that stage in our life, but, you know, the, the, the youth, even like now, we would instruct basketball clinics and we would see kids would have trouble dribbling. This wasn't just a silencer. Like it wasn't just to help kids in dribble at home with, with the, the no noise aspect. This was to help them dribble the proper way, the proper stance. But there's two parts. One is that it's a silencer and two is that it teaches kids how to dribble the right way. But could you explain how the product helps a kid le learn how to dribble or, or have the proper form? Okay, so first of all, it's a T-shape. So there's a, there's a spot in between your legs, so you have no option. You can't put your legs together. You have to spread them. It's like, fo it's forcing you to do it. People tend to move around. They're like, the kids, the kids are, are moving around. They're not staying in one place. And they're not hitting the right muscle groups that you want to hit when you dribble the basketball. You see like Stephen Curry dribble the ball. He says, before a game, we'll stay stationary the whole time. And they'll just try yeah, to get, a specific you know, the dribble move at all. So after you perfected the product, you ended up partnering with Tim Hardaway Sr. You gotta tell him, it was at the Nick game, right? Yeah, so we were watching We were watching the Nick game, okay? We were so, Eric and I always go back and forth. Who, who should we get to endorse the product? Um, obviously, we wanted Kyrie Irving. Obviously, we wanted Stephen Curry because those are the best ball handlers of, of this era. But then, we're watching the Nick game. It's Christmas Day, the Knicks, who are the Knicks playing? The Bucs? Yeah, it was the right? Bucs. Tim, Tim Hardaway Jr. was on the team at the time. He's on the Knicks. And we see, on, on they're showing on the Jumbotron, like Tim Hardaway Sr. We're like, oh my God, that guy invented the crossover. What about him? So we just tried to figure out a way to get in touch with him and, and we were able to do it. Yeah, he so when he, when, he, when, he, when he like responded, okay, like sure, let me take a look. We, he, he, we got on a video call of him and he probably thought we were some crazy people messing up, way to dribble indoors. I'm like, what the heck? 
So after a couple meetings, you decide to partner with him. Yeah, I mean, we, we showed, after we showed him the video, we, we were trying to figure out how to get him involved. Um, we definitely wanted to bring him in like right away to, to uh, do a video shoot. So we, that's when we performed that Kickstarter video. Hello? No, no, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Hey, Jake, can you stop bouncing that ball? <gasps> oh, Jake, I wish you'd stop bouncing that ball. I can't hear myself think. Look at this. Oh my god. Hello there. Tim Hardaway? Five time NBA All Star? Oh. It looks like you need to get your life together. <laughs> what you need is this <gasps> Dream Silencer by Dream Dribble. It silences a bouncing basketball and it also enhances dribbling skills. Did you launch the product yet? At this no, no, we need money. No. No, we didn't. We didn't do. Uh, we didn't launch because we wanted to launch with the right guy. Right. Mm -hmm. If that, we're gonna do it, right. we also wanted it some type. You know, of our player. video was with uh, Eric, myself, and, and some and some girl. You need somebody who's some, yeah. who who has the experience of, of dribbling a basketball really well, not just you know two Jewish kids. Right. <laughs> so he gives you a little, little credibility yeah, to somebody 100%. that's looking at it. So you make this Kickstarter, I'm assuming it does well. We got a lot of family and friends to, to, do, to give at first. And, and then we got on the news, which that helped a lot. That yeah, that Fox that, that, that And that really pushed us over the edge. How did you get on Fox? So a friend of ours, uh, another mentor we have, um, he's, he has his own business and he's, he's on Shark Tank and he has, he has friends that are newscasters, so he asked we also got on like News Channel 12. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah. So we were on News 12. Oh, we were. Nice. We were in the New York Post. How did you get all the, all that PR? I think, I think Tim helps. To be to, to, Tim's I think credibility I helped. You know, they see Tim Hardaway Senior. They're trying to link. They want to get him for something. So then they ask him about that. You know, we reached out to the New York Post. We reached out to Close Up 360. Um, you know, News 12, you know, News, News 12 came from, from the New York Post. The final product, what it is now, what is the material made out of? What is the material? Secret batch. <laughs> oh, secret batch. Got it. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, I mean, so we also, the, the, the big part of, you know, when we were trying to come up with something is we wanted, you know, not everybody has a big house and could just leave a big piece of equipment in the middle of their living room. We also, you know, the biggest part was that it could fold up. So we had to come up with a way to make sure that with the with the tension being pulled, it won't like nothing will break. And also, you know, you could fold it, you could fold it, store it under your bed, store it in your closet, people living in apartments, all that type of stuff. Right. Does it feel cool to have a business centered around what your like lifelong passion has been? 100%. Yes, yes, for sure. It's very motivating. Like literally, it's and to see people use it and people love it and people commenting on it and people you know reaching out you know we're getting waitlist emails, that type of stuff motivates us even more. Yeah. You know people want what you created.